See, uh, you're talking about businesses. Yeah. Businesses usually or initially when they start, it's a question of personal success. Because of a certain volume, then it becomes a larger phenomena in a country or in the world. But initially, it's a question of personal success. So that success has a personal stamp on it. If you want to peel that stamp off and hand it over to somebody, there are many problems. There are many things in the process of building that you have realized which can never be taught to another person, which they have to imbibe by being around. There are many small nuances. So, particularly businesses which are crafted around a person, it's very difficult to pass it on. It takes a certain amount of effort, it takes years and years of culturing people around you to be able to pass it on to somebody. And the effort that it takes to pass it on to people is so much sometimes, you rather do the work yourself because it takes so much effort to pass on a simple nuance of doing something in a particular way that it feels like it's better you do it. <laughs> and also beyond a certain age, you don't care so much about the business as you cared about it in the beginning. Now as life ebbs within you, your concern is more about yourself, how you are and what's happening to you and stuff. So when that's a thing, others may be thinking in terms of, oh, such a great business, he's not passing it on, what is he doing, no succession plan and all these things. Others may be thinking because they're only looking at the bubble of success. But that person has done the bubble, blown the bubble and now he's matured into looking at his life. He's looking at himself, how he eats in the morning because an entrepreneur doesn't eat on time, doesn't uh, sleep on time, doesn't do anything well when he's building something. Now he wants to eat well in the morning, he wants to take a walk, maybe he wants to golf, he wants to do something because he knows whether consciously or unconsciously everybody knows when the bones start creaking that uh, your time is limited. Mm. Now you start looking, this bubble looks great from outside. Is it worth building? Is it worth investing more of your time in this? Mm. But at the same time, if you want to pass it on to somebody, you will have to spend more time on it than you doing it yourself. Mm. So you're just hoping you keep doing it and one day maybe somebody will take over. Whatever happens, you don't care, something will happen. Mm. Some, somebody will take it and run it. Mm. This may be the attitude of many business people and I've... I've had very c <laughs> close uh, conversations with uh, people like that and this is the reality with them. And I don't blame them, it's fine. That's why I said right from the beginning, if your interest is multi-dimensional, your growth would be multi-dimensional, you would not feel this lethargy in this. The succession would naturally come because you allowed people to be around you to imbibe things, not just teaching them just allowing them to absorb okay. how things are done. So, that would make succession very simple. You don't have to name, okay, this is the guy. Whoever absorbs, one day you will see that it's safer in this person's hands than anybody else's hands, so you hand over. And that person, what he does, what he or she does with it, is entirely their own, there is no guarantee, okay? There's no guarantee, not necessarily because that person's responsibility or irresponsibility, competence or incompetence. A particular business may be relevant to a particular time, may not be relevant to another time. And uh, it's very difficult to come to terms with that, that what I invested my whole life upon is not relevant to the next generation of people, is something very difficult for people to come to terms with. So entirely changing the very focus of business, the business itself, right. using the financial capabilities that the business has to change the very focus, that level of entrepreneurship is not always there. <laughs> sure. Sure. I want you to understand, at some point in life, at some stage in your life, 
human beings lose interest in money. Only somebody who's very rudimentary in his mind maintains that interest to the end. Most human beings lose interest in money when they reach a certain point in their life. Initially, probably, uh, you know, these sayings are going around <laughs> uh, time is money. Slowly as age creeps in, you begin to understand that time is not money, time is life. So as that understanding and experience sinks in, you would want to invest your time in a different way than just about making money. Entrepreneurship is essentially about investing your time to make money. That's why I said right from day one, if your attention and your interest <coughs> is multidimensional, you can succeed as an entrepreneur, but still you don't have to be stuck in that one dimension, which could be very depressive, regretful later on if you spend too much time on it. It's good some people choose to just retire no matter what, business running well, not well is not my business. They have the necessary dispassion to hand it over and sit back and look, okay, if it goes well, it goes well, it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. Even I could have failed when I did things, somebody else is failing, it's their privilege. Ha <laughs> ha!